This video is the general process for using a pH meter. Each pH meter will be slightly different, so consult your manual for specific instructions. We will demonstrate the general process using the Fisher Acumet model AB150. The probe of the pH meter is stored in a high salt buffer. If you have a refillable probe, locate the filling port and rotate until the port is in the open position. When stored, it remains closed to prevent evaporation of the filling solution. For best results, periodic standardization or calibration with known accurate standards is recommended prior to measurement. Standard range pH buffers are pH 4, pH 7, and pH 10. Choose standards that bracket your intended measuring range while including a neutral point. Other standards are available for values below 4 or above 10. To begin, using clean glassware, pour out enough buffer to completely submerge the probe tip. Do not reuse buffer solutions after calibration. Confirm the mode is set to read pH. Remove the storage container from the probe and carefully move the lid portion to the upper region of the probe so it does not contact your solutions. Rinse well with clean distilled water and remove excess water by gently touching the tip with a Kim wipe. Do not wipe the probe as this can cause damage. Suspend the probe in the holder and submerge it in the first buffer ensuring you do not hit the probe and damage it. Press the standard button and await a stable reading. Confirm the calibration value by pressing the standard button again. Rinse the probe well between solutions with clean water, again removing excess water carefully with a Kim wipe. Place the probe into the next standard solution. If the pH slope is out of the acceptable range, you may get an error when you try to confirm the reading. If this happens, clear the current values, confirm your buffers are at room temperature, and retake the readings. Once calibration is successful, you can begin measuring the pH of your desired solution. The Acumet AB150 generates a report confirming the successful calibration of the machine. For best results, your solution should be constantly stirring while being measured. Some brands have a stirring pH probe. If yours does not, use a stir bar and a stir plate, but be careful that the probe does not come in contact with the stir bar. We wish to adjust the pH of our solution to a pH of 7 within 0 0.02 units. As the pH is within 1 unit, we will use a 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution to carefully increase the pH. For larger differences, higher concentrations such as 5 molar can be used to speed up the process. Using a bulb pipette or transfer pipette, we will add the 1 molar sodium hydroxide dropwise until the desired pH is reached. If we had wanted to lower the pH, we would use a hydrochloric acid solution of 1 molar for within 1 pH unit or 5 molar for larger differences. Once you've obtained a stable desired pH, you must perform a final rinse of the probe with clean water and be sure to return the filling port to the closed position for storage. As our storage solution, the 4 molar potassium chloride, was getting low, we will refill the bottle so the tip is completely submerged. Carefully replace the bottle over the probe so as not to crush the tip. Now that the process is complete, you can power down the machine or place it into standby mode.